right then, what we've got here now is the finished um, Airfix 1 in 48 scale C Vixen FAW2. Right, now what I've done is I did the um, number 893 Naval Air Squadron HMS Victorious 1966. Now, I've done the inbox review. This is the review to um, show you this particular model all built. So I'm just going to now give you a final conclusion of this actual build. Um, so, fit issues. To be honest with you, there really is no fit issues. There is no major fit issues with this particular kit. Um, and really, there's not really any kind of intermediate fit issues. I mean, it really did go together really, really nice. The panel lining was, the recessed panel lining was all nice and crisp and we didn't have to do any tidying up there. Um, <clears throat> we did have where these two kind of, I don't know what they're called, these two pieces went on to the fuselage and the wing section. I mean, we did have some minor gaps either side here. I mean, a little bit of filler and that wasn't really an issue at all. Um, but we had to do a bit of filling there. Um, but really, I mean, apart from that, this kit really, really hasn't been a problem at all to put together. Um, the spray work, I must admit, you know, these aircraft, they did get quite dirty and it was really nice to give us this kind of like really nice weathered um, spray work on here, which um, does kind of set it alive nicely. Um, and the underneath side, you know, you've got this nice um, white underside, which, you know, being white, we could really kind of get into some weathering and stuff, which, you know, we used oils and all this kind of stuff to get this nice effect. Um, the mask inside of it, bit tricky, bit time consuming, because we've got um, this kind of like pointy bit here, and, um, you know, we've got this our um, extra dark sea grey going along the edge of our wing here all the way around. Little tricky, I mean not impossible or really hard, just a little tricky, a bit time consuming, um, but that does really kind of set it off to be honest with you. And some nice uh, chance to do some nice weathering with this. Um, one particular thing to note with this actual kit as well is um, the customer actually wanted some aftermarket parts added to this and um, you're not going to be able to see this on camera but there are some pictures on the forum um, <clears throat> in the um, the build section where you get to see you know the uh, photo etch that you can get for the C Vixen and you know you can see it a lot better with the still pictures in the build section um, we've also got resin ejector seats as well and really i mean it looks really really nice inside there um however i mean what you get with the kit by all means you don't have to buy aftermarket parts because what you do get in the kit is actually really really nice what this photo etch has done and the resin um seats has just given it that really extra nice um more detailed look to it but you'll be fine with what you get in the kit other thing to note as well is we've got just here right just here there's like a little window um, and I used the um, kind of like the PVA glue technique where you get a bit of PVA glue on the end of a cocktail stick and we just kind of put it in there and let that dry and it gives you a really nice um, glassy kind of look rather than using um, what Airfix provides in the kit which is a bit shall we say a bit of a brick <laughs> um, you know and that just really kind of gives that that nice really good look there um, I have left our canopy section um, not actually glued on because um, this here where the um, I think the navigator I think it is his there's a, it's kind of like a bit of a nice fit if you kind of push it down right 
it does actually hold in place actually quite nice without um, having to glue this on which is quite nice because I can imagine how that's going to break off quite easily so that's nice and easily put on and off and as well as that this um, this canopy can almost be if you get it right opened or closed um, well a little bit tricky to get it to close but it does Mm, hold on. Trust me, it does. <laughs> it's just a bit tricky, um, but the customer wanted it open anyway. So you leave that unglued, and you can kind of play around with that as well, um, which we nicely shined up with some Tamiya polishing compound. So all in all, the build went together nicely. It's a nice way of also doing some nice weathering spraying. And the decals that you get with this kit are made by Cartographer. You know, they're the best you can get. You get a massive decal sheet with this. And the decals are really nice. They went down nice. I mean, as you can see, all this red going on here. You know, I made sure I got rid of all the silver in by, you know, putting a nice gloss coat down first before you put the decals on top and I made sure I used all my solutions and um, made sure it went into the recesses by kind of cutting into it with a blade and all this kind of stuff and that has really set this off quite nicely um, so the decals are good and to be honest with you the kit costs um, 30 pounds so what's the final conclusion and that is simply this is definitely a recommended kit for I think under 30 pounds you know you get a really nice fitted kit nice decals you know it really really is a very nice looking model to be honest with you and it's really going to look nice on a display piece you know it's quite big as well um, and it's quite nice to see that airfix is actually starting to pull out some decent you know modern um, kind of professional standard kind of kits rather than what they used to do which was um, quite um, well shall we say without being too nasty kind of cheap and cheerful sort of thing well maybe not so cheerful but you know very cheap kits hard to put together decals could be really a nightmare but Airfix has kind of turned things around and this is you know proof that Airfix has started to produce some really nice kits um, you know, this just has that feel of the Airfix Lightning as well, the one in 48 scale. You know, it's kind of like the same sort of thing. It's a nice, fairly cheap kit, and you can't go wrong with it. So, hopefully, this whole re uh, in, um, inbox review and the final conclusion, hopefully, you'll have a nice appreciation for this kit. And, you know, if you thought about getting it, hopefully, now you'll think about getting it because it is definitely a really good kit.